Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a taste test with Walmart Great Value Coffee. So they sell six different coffees. They sell some more, They're, they kinda of get into the flavored coffee a little bit, but these are kinda of your basic coffees. So let's start off with your Colombian. You've got Donut Shop, you've got Blonde, House Blend, Breakfast Blend, and French Roast. So they all use Arabica uh, beans. What's nice though I like about Walmart is you can buy these smaller boxes. So these are like three, almost four bucks for 12. That gives you, I mean, it's kind of cost effective to t do a taste test. Um, and you're not buying a full 24 count for like 12 bucks. So originally I just bought the donut shop because it was cheaper and I was doing a lot of coffee, K-cups, um, reviews and different and machine reviews so I wanted a cheap coffee and I found that the donut shop tasted really good so today I will be brewing them with the Keurig K Supreme Plus and the K Express so all the Walmart coffees come in like a standard K cup with a coffee filter so you have two tablespoons of coffee and the bottom so the one thing I've noticed is the bottom is not there's not a um, like a detent to help hold the filter basket up so that the water will drain out of the filter basket better so some of your more expensive k-cups do have that so here we've got a starbucks k-cup and they put this this wafer this plastic wafer in there to keep the filter from touching the bottom of the k-cup they don't really use that plastic um, so here we've got a victor allen this is a little more expensive one see how it's got that big indentation that's to keep the uh, filter from touching the bottom of this when, and that's supposed to help with the brewing. So the Walmart K-Cups do not have any, any of that. So here I've cut open each uh, K-Cup before I brewed them. Now they all smell really good. You've got your classic French roast, which is a dark, dark coffee. Your blonde. Now they call this a medium, but boy, I would sure call that a light. You've got your house blend, which is getting closer to a dark. Your breakfast blend, um, you're starting to look like a light. And the donut shop even looks like a light. So they're, they're all ground to like a medium grind. And again, I've, I've smelled each one and they, you know, surprisingly they all smell really good. And I have smelled some coffees that don't smell very good before they're brewed. Now again, I'm not a coffee expert by no means. I'm new to coffee three years ago. And I'm just kind of giving a, um, just a simple taste test of what kind of what I think. Some of the terms I use may not be the, the best, but I'm just trying to give a, a, like a, just kind of a general taste test of, of, and again, everybody's taste can be different. So, so I do feel like the K cups are made well. I've not run into any problems with getting bad K cups or spilt or the K cups aren't sealed or anything. Um, I've had really good uh, results with the K cups. So if you look at the box, the instructions, most, most of them, they don't say what to brew it on. They kind of leave that up to you. And, and what's nice about a Keurig machine is you can brew it, you know, like this K-Express. You can brew it on a 6, 8, or 10. I find that brewing it on the 10 ounce tastes the best. But you're more than welcome to brew it any, any uh, ounces you want. So for this uh, taste test, all these coffees will be brewed on the 8 ounce. Okay, so let's start off with Colombian and... Donut shop again, eight ounce. Next, let's do the house blend and the blonde. They all smell really good while they're brewing. And last, we'll do the French roast and the breakfast blend. Okay, so let's start off with the Colombian. This was my number two best tasting. So this, this tasted really good. There maybe was just a hint of sweetness to it, and it did seem a little lighter, kind of like a lighter roast. Again, that was that was the Colombian. 
the donut shop is kind of it's it's my um it's kind of like my standard now um it's got just a basic coffee taste i don't i don't taste anything extra um and it just it, to me it tastes really really good so this is my number one uh, walmart drink is the donut shop the house blend was tied for last so there was three of them i put in last they just didn't taste good to me i don't think they're bad coffees i just don't necessarily like that type of taste so this is a darker roast and it's got kind of that burnt taste kind of like a starbucks taste where um the coffee is the beans are like brewed a little uh, hotter and you get kind of a more of a burnt taste now the blonde it seemed really weak um you know you can see it's a definitely a lot weaker than the house blend but um Again, I didn't like this one. It does taste a little more citrusy than the um, breakfast blend. So again, this is the blonde, and I just didn't like it quite. I didn't like it quite as much. Now the French roast. So French roast, I guess they take some getting used to. These are really dark coffees, and um, it just wasn't tasty to me yet. Um, again, you're starting to get into that kind of like Starbucks taste a little bit, but again, this one just did not taste good to me. That's the French roast. The breakfast blend. So this was my number three. I thought it was good. The only reason I gave it a number three, it tastes good. It just seems a little weaker, but it's got a good taste to it. And there is a hint of kind of a citrusy taste to it a little bit, uh, but it definitely just has like a lighter uh, taste to it. You're kind of getting away from that basic coffee taste. So again, I don't necessarily think uh, Walmart makes a bad cup of coffee. These just, this is just how it tasted to me. Again, the donut shop is, is just a really good cup of coffee. It's just kind of basic. The Colombian, I was kind of surprised by the Colombian. That was my number two. And then my number three was the breakfast blend. Yeah, so if you're looking for a little bit lighter coffee um, without so much of the coffee taste but still tastes good, that's good. The blonde, I found, it just seems like they tried to make a lighter coffee, but got too light. It seemed weak to me. And then the, the house blend and the French roast just seemed, again, dark coffees. I may not be used to dark coffees yet. Um, they tasted just a little, they say they're kind of nutty, but I get sort of that burnt taste of them a little bit. Again, I recommend Walmart coffees because you can, you can get these 12 packs for like four bucks three something um, they're very easy to try so if you if you find that you don't like them you're not wasting a bunch of money i hope this video helps that's the intention of my videos it's just to help thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe